deeper than you can get this one. There you go. That's all. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Bowser Plush here. Welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. In the last episode, Bowser kidnapped everyone. So here we are. Tiny Italian man. Having to go save them. Well, let's go up the magic rainbow pipe. And see where it leads us. Welcome to World Bowser, the best world to ever exist. I may be biased, I don't know. Let's begin with Spiky Spike Bridge. Yeah, good, that was what it says. It wasn't my dyslexia getting the best of me. Cyrus Peach. And again, I'm immediately proven wrong, although I was trying to keep calm. Although it didn't quite work out, because I kept spoiling the level more levels. Ah, but... This level, you can probably guess, is going to involve a lot of floor spikes. As floor spikes are very dangerous. As you know, they can stab you. I wonder. I'm dangerous. And I was rewarded. Come on. I don't back there, so let's just continue on. Let's go. Whoop. Oh, I thought we were going to go off. Come on, spike things. Hey, spike things. Come on, over here, you guys. Come on, come on. Boom! That's always fun to do. Let's head over to here. Head over to the checkpoint. I remember like playthroughs I saw this online being longer, although I do wonder if that's just a byproduct of all the playthroughs I've seen being multiplayer. I've not seen a single playthrough of this game online be single player. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong places, but this game's a lot quicker when you've just got one person. No 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 yes, okay. Let's continue on. This section is cool because like it's, it's not like a it's not like a timer, but like it feels like it's not a timer, so you have to like jump correctly. Again, sections that feel a lot longer when there's multiple people playing. Not that that's a bad thing, like that's a good thing, but the game should feel longer, because then you get more enjoyment out of it. Well, again, like isn't the dictator of how much you like can enjoy it, but especially when it's like a multiplayer game, the game needs to feel long. Otherwise, you're gonna feel like you didn't get much out of it. And I missed the stamp. What? Is it over here? Huh. I've missed the stamp. Oh, that's not the. Uh, no, no, I think it is. Huh. Where did the stamp. Where was the stamp? Oh, I know where it was. Oh, we're gonna have to redo this level. And I'll probably play it as Toad, I want to see how fast I can do it. I remember where it is. Now, we can just skip that, because... We can get the top like so. Once again, that bit feels like a lot more like proper when you've got the meow at the end. When it's not there, it just doesn't sound right. Right. I guess we're going back in. Oh, and there's another coming up that I have a story about. Oh, I'm excited. I might do them out of order just to get to that one. Because I have like the weirdest story about that stage. It's not even about the stage itself. Come on, Toad. Let's be quick about this. Yeah, it wasn't there. Okay, so that wasn't where it was. So I was right on that. Let's be fast about this Toad. 
Let's be fast. Let's be quick. Let's throw all of our enemies into a pit. Now, if memory serves, the location of the stamp is actually down here. And I was right. Now, let's just hope we can just speed on through this. Because it would be fun. Get that, get that, get that, get that, get that, there we go. And there we go. And we're done. You know what? Be a hot take, but I think the toad pulls off the cat toad, the, like the cat bell look the best. Like, out of all the characters, like Mario's pretty good, Peach is alright, Luigi's also pretty good, but Toad, Toad just does it. And also, I didn't see what we unlocked. I'm assuming it was a dry bones one. Well, yeah, oh no, this is number two. Okay, I'm not going out of order. Let's see. Who's my favorite little dino girl? What? Okay, so this is like the second stage. There's only like two stages where Plessy is like the main gimmick. She appears in other stages. Oh no. Okay, this section right here. I have a story about this section, and it's really weird. When I was young, I had a dream. A dream that I was in like a competition where we had to like go through a pyramid for some reason. I don't remember what it was, this was years ago, this is all I remember of the dream. And there was a section in it that was just like that drop. So when I first played this game, like, 10 years ago, like I saw that and I was like, whoa, whoa. It's like the game invaded my dream. It was crazy. Right, so welcome to World 8, where we're probably gonna have to redo most levels. Hey, no, I'm not in there. Oh, we've gone up there, okay, yeah. Again, it's been a while since I'm doing this. I'm, I'm not doing this blind, of course, but like it's been a while since I played the game. And we're gonna have to reach this level, anyways. So. I'm gonna say this. So far, I remember World 8 being harder. Maybe it's just because, you know, you get older and you play games more, or, you know, you just get better at stuff in general, but World 8's been like pretty quick. And I've had to redo both. Like, I'm gonna have to redo both levels. So it's not a case of like, you know, ah, oh, you're not doing it good enough. No, it's just a case of like, it's just pretty quick. Right, let's head back on into it. I can explain like my weird dream a little bit more. Or I could gamble. No, I don't feel like gambling. Let's go inside. Plessy's Dune Downhill. There's a movie called Dune. I wanted to watch it, I never did. We'll have to like, look to see if it's on Blu-ray blu rays get real cheap after that. I can't make getting blu rays if you can. If you got a Blu-ray player, do it. Blu-ray players are cheap. Okay. Okay, okay. No! Okay. Sorry, Plessy. Anyway, yeah. Blu-rays are like, real cheap. You can get a lot of them used for like, a single pound or even like, £2.50. Of course, it's not going to be like every film. Like, ones that are like really popular, they typically stay up in price, but like, they go down in price like almost after me. I'm going to say immediately, like after a couple months. Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, so many dead Plessies. I'm going to get in trouble. The Plessy police are going to come find me and be like, Did you kill those Plessies? I'm going to be like, Yes, I did. Alright, let's try again. Come on. No, 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 no. Plessy, please. We're supposed to do this. I'd cut it, but like, it's not even been 10 minutes and we've already done two levels. I don't want like this world to go too quick. Right, let's go. Okay, let's try. Plessy! Ah! Uh. Not even Plessy's fault, it's my fault, I can't time it right. 
<laughs> Welcome to Bordet, also known as the Plessy Graveyard. Oh, you can't move her. Oh, oh you can here. Yeah. We can hear my control stick moving as well. Yes! Okay! Now we can finish the level. Come on, hit your head, hit your head. Oh. Good. Like, I didn't want like, to actually hurt Plessy because Plessy's nice. But at the same time, I was just too curious. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so I never mentioned it because I was talking about my dream, but like those two Bowser statues are supposed to clue you in that there's a path on there. You're actually meant to go around this way. Well, you know, not meant to, but. You know, logical game, don't go into that, you will die. But me being a veteran of this game, I was like, ah, it's fine. Same with the Bowser statue here, that's what makes the green star appear. It is a shame, like, to pull a comparison to a newer game, in Kirby and the Forgotten Land, sections like this, they do allow you to replay it, which I think is like a very good choice. I do kind of wish that this game allowed you to do that. But it's not the end of the world. This level is short enough. Kirby stages are like five to ten minutes each. Especially if you're playing them for the first time. Well now to worry about the top of the flagpole, so. Alright, we're only like eleven minutes in. And that's with me, like, dying here four times without cutting. Like, I may cut it in post. I don't think I will, but... Eh. I don't want this level to be too short. This world to be too short. Is this, like, the final world? Okay. Cookie Cogworks. I don't think I want to be Toad for this. I want to be... Well, I don't want to be anyone in particular, but I want to be Ouija. I'm going to be Ouija for a bit. And you get the music. And these guys that mimic your movement, but not all the time. That's weird. Okay, we're down here. There's a giant piranha plant! I love the sounds that piranha plants make. I think, like, they started making sounds like that in... What's it, Mario Galaxy? I like them a lot more than your Super Mario Bros. sounds. Let's put it that way. Oh. Okay, that's the first one. Sorry if I'm not talking much. Like, something that I get, like, either I just start humming because, like, I'm in the zone. And that's, like, what I do when I play through games normally. Or I just go silent because I'm, like, too focused on how I've got to play the game. And I don't actually, like, have good commentary. Oh yeah, this is a preamble for something. What it is, I won't say, but I'm not looking forward to that day. Whoop, whoop, up, ah. I'm gonna head through here. There's the stamp, so I hope you're paying attention. Take care of these ants. You can just do that. You can be kind of like mean to them, which is... I don't like being mean to the ants. That was a cool sound. I love the sounds they make. Sorry, I know it's like a very like nothing thing. I just love the sound. You can bounce on them like that? Huh. Okay. This one's just like a thing. I don't know what you call it. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. don't die in here. Okay. Just take the katsu. Imagine the katsu time. It was the animal crossing effect. That's why I was thinking. Okay. This one coming up is a bit funky, if I remember, to get the last green star. You need to get down there. Now, if I remember, what you do is you can go up here. No. But you want to go round. You want this one confused me when I was younger. I didn't even think to do this, but you go down here. You have to get the bunny. Get the bunny! And also get the coins, but we have enough time, I can get the coins first. And by get the coins, I'm not getting all the coins. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on! No! Come on! 
Come on, Pony. Come on, do it. There we go. There it is. That's the last of the green stars. Get these little like cake topping things. I just want to make these in real life. I don't know how you do it. I've looked it up on there. Right. And then, once we're done with that, once we're done with that, that's actual English. Get the top of the pole, and we're done. Hey, it's Toad! He's got a little boomerang. Isn't that good of him? Well, I think we're done here, so... Next time on Super Mario 3D World, we will be continuing on into World Bowser, one of the coolest level aesthetics ever. We're going on a train near like the Oil Express thing, because like that's a different color, so you can't tell me that's not oil. See you guys then, and until next time, bye.